I love Easter. Coloring eggs, hiding them, Easter baskets, chocolate bunnies, all of it. So I thought we would share an Easter egg together. This is mine and this is Barney's. Gentle. <laughs> Did you know that more Americans search for a church on Easter than on any other day of the year? Number one attended service. So that's kind of sad that we won't be able to be together for Easter this year. But you know what? Loss can really fuel appreciation, can't it? And I wonder when things get back to normal, if we won't have a much greater appreciation for fellowshipping and being together. Reminds me of the keto diet I tried recently. So for those of you who don't know what the keto diet is, it's a high protein diet and you're not supposed to eat a lot of carbs. So this was tough because the whole time I was on it, I'm like, carbs, carbs. <laughs> and you know who wants a hamburger without ketchup or without the bun on a much more serious note I can't imagine how awful it had to have been for the disciples and Mary when they lost Jesus watching him get whipped burying him uh, it just had to be incredibly awful so you wonder why do we call it good Friday well, the answer is easy. You know the answer because the story doesn't end there. We celebrate Easter because, praise God, he died on the cross so that we can be with him forever. We didn't lose Jesus. So I'll finish this with my best Landon Crabtree voice. I raise a hallelujah. I'm going to sing in the middle of the storm. Louder and louder, you're going to hear my praises roar. <laughs>